Welcome to Macklin Motors. This is the brand new Ironic 5 All Electric. You have some exclusive colors. This one happens to be one of the new matte finishes that we have. You also have the new square lighting. Now on the square lighting, I've been told by certain people that uh, it looks like a DeLorean. At the bottom, comment, let me know what you think about those ones. On the front, you also have individual LED lights. Now these stand out when it's really dark and you can see the whole bit lights up as well as having your square lights uh, light the rest of the way for you as well. Towards the bottom, you have your parking sensors and if the car does ever need to cool itself down, it will open up the front here. Um, those are generally on the motorway when it needs to do that. The front bonnet is uh, all new design. It's called a clamshell design. Inside, you also have some inside storage. The inside storage is something called a frunk. So obviously a front trunk. So these are the 19 inch alloy wheels, which come standard on the premium. This particular one also has the black on the inside. It has the diamond cut all the way through it and the design to be aerodynamic. Right, so the all new design on the Ionic 5 is it has this almost crease in it from here as well as the top one from there, which gives the car more space and sense of movement while it's actually standing still, which is amazing. And the door handles, press on the inside and pulls up and out, but it's from there. On the back of this particular car, what you'll find is you have the rear spoiler, which has two openings at the top here. Those are designed that when the air goes over it, it clears your rear windscreen. So these are the new matrix lights. So as you can see, you have the small LEDs underneath and you have your top bits, which are lit up as well. And when you brake, obviously they get brighter. Now towards the bottom, you have your parking sensors and you also have your rear camera. This model with being a premium also has the keyless entry as well as the automatic lifting boot. You have your roller cover, which pulls towards and then just literally rolls back from there. You do have the two levels, which part for your cables, and then you have the top level to keep all your bits and pieces while you're traveling. So on this particular one, you use the key, uh, which actually has the hold button to open up your electric point. And this one does have your type two charger and also has your fast charger on there as well. And while the car's charging, it will go up through the matrix here. And if you want to close it, press the button, or you can use the key to do so as well. Get into the back of the Ionic 5. There's loads of room, enough for three larger adults to sit absolutely fine. Isofix both sides, left and right. You have the armrest in the middle. A little storage for some drinks from there. Two USBs down the bottom towards here. A little bit of storage at the bottom. And you also have the storage in the back of each seat. Now, quite a handy feature is you have your own air supply on the right hand side and left hand side of the rear. So if I don't want to have any air on, I don't have to, and the left hand side will not bother me. Right, now the fact we're actually inside the vehicle, I can show you a few more of these features. The interior on this particular car is really space aged. So even just to the little bit of silver going through there, the lovely soft feel on the top, uh, this sort of different one to break up the top and the bottom of the dash and even just your ventilation system just looks completely different to what you'd expect from a normal car. The two screens are really handy as your main screen's here so that you and everyone else can look at that. And this is your screen. So this is the one where you can see your different driver information. So when your mouse began are going up, this bar will be going up and down. And then when you have the door closed, that'll be shown as the door closed from there and what miles you have currently left on the car and what percentage of the battery is left on the left-hand side.
Right, into drive, turn towards the front, and let's go. So you've got your speed limiter, and you also have your cruise control on the top there. Uh, you go up and down by using those ones, and then you have how close or how far you want to be from the car in front. There are different modes on here, you press the modes and it will change the system onto that one, so you can change between different volumes from there. So on the map system, because this one is actually an electric car, what you will find is that on that uh, sat nav there, it will actually show you where the nearest charges are. I know there is one just at the top of the street. So let's see if this actually shows me where that is and where that's meant to be. So if we press on there to have a look where the charge points are, it should find them for me. <coughs> and there we go, just like that, show me exactly where all the different charges are. Now this one is the Cobalt Business Park, which is up the top here. And this is the one which is going to show me exactly where the charge points are if I press that. left here. That's exactly what we're going to do. Just like that. It shows me there's ones to the left hand side. There's some over there as well. And further along here we also have charging points. Now currently I don't need any charge so I'm going to stop guidance. I'm going to have to carry on driving and enjoy it. Like I've shown before, this one does show you the speed limit at the top. So that round here it's 20, so better stick to that speed limit. And you can change what the view is on here, so you can actually view what your kilowatt hours are while driving, how far you've driven, uh, you can go up and down through those ones after charging, accumulate information. I don't know if you can hear that, but every time you reverse, there is a sound to let people know that you are reversing and because of the electric car there isn't any real sound unless you put your foot down a little bit in which case then you can hear a little bit of road noise but while we're traveling at these sort of speeds you don't hear much really now it's getting a bit warm in here so if I want to make that a little bit cooler I'll use that one on the bottom there the left and right can run independently and you can also go into your climate system and keep front and back separate as well. I currently we don't have the air condition mode, so if I put that one there, the air condition, what you should find is that the range will start dropping a little bit. Now with electric cars, what you tend to find is that you tend not to use electricity um, as much when you're using your heated seats, but you do use a lot more when you're using your air conditioner, which seems to be the other way around in a car, really. By car, I mean standard petrol car or diesel, of course. If you'd like any more information on the Ionic 5, please log on to MacklinMotors.co.uk.